Every direct coupled drive fan has a coupling that connects the motor shaft to the fan shaft. Clint here is going to demonstrate how we assemble these couplings and then align them in the factory before we ship them off to you. So go ahead, Clint. Inside of this coupling are two half couplings. One is for your shaft, one is for the motor. We will put them both on and then interlock them together with a grid. From there, we will take the laser levels and they are both linked to this computer. We will attach one that is marked shaft and motor to the shaft and motor. Then from there, we will take measurements using the laser and the computer of straight up and down. And then we will rotate the shaft and the motor both to horizontal and then straight up and horizontal and the whole time they are taking measurements and sending it to the computer so that when the fan leaves here your shaft from the motor and the shaft of the fan are within mills of each other to make sure they're not tipped one way or another which would affect the life of your coupling then from there in each one they give us a certain amount of packets of grease this one I believe takes four. So we will have four packets that we need to fit inside of this coupling housing. We will do that by physically cutting the corner of the packet open and squirting the grease in the grid and on the coupling. And while rotating the shaft, we will manually work it in until we get all of the long-term grease in there. We will install our seals that go inside of your coupling housing, we will install both them, torque them down, and it is ready to go. And so that's how it ships from us to the field. And then, like he said, we put long-term grease in it. So follow the IOM from the coupling manufacturer, and every once in a while, you will have to get in and check that grease and replace the grease on your coupling through this grease port right here. As long as you do that, your coupling should last a long time.